Okay guys, another video, probably one of the best for me, maybe for you as well. Uh, we're gonna remove the piston to check the rings and check clearance. So, I maybe I'm gonna remove piston number two. So to remove that, you're actually using the same tool as for the head bolts because it's the same size so same procedure slowly click again again and again and that's it good tip if you're replacing or doing any job related to the bottom these bolts you should use only once if you remove them you can't use them again these uh, bearing caps for the crankshaft well the manual doesn't say you, sh you can use them again however maybe it's good to get new ones, but only OEM. Don't get any aftermarket unless you're building a proper proper engine and the, the parts you're using are uh, they have a good reviews and recommendations. But cheap aftermarkets I don't recommend. What we see is a bearing it's not looking good it's warm I don't know about the crankshaft uh, journals but this is not looking good funny I don't know what's this why is it it's discolored so uh, bearing shell it has it's very actually soft these metals these layers of metals are so there are a few different uh, layers of metals like lead copper and i think not sure maybe chromium chromium but if you see like quite uh, light co white color some kind of silver silvery color that means they are good if you see uh, orange brown that means the copper that's I think the bottom layer so the, the bearing is gone or dark like this one that I think that's lead so I think that bearing is gone so another another proof that engine wasn't treated good mine was a lot a lot better there, there was a few scratches on my M54 however the color was still bright silvery white something like that so and the crankshaft i don't know to to actually check the crankshaft you need to use a micrometer and that's the only option to do it properly uh, so now i'm gonna turn the engine up and i'm gonna slowly push out the piston so a tip for people who think they can do engine rebuild from the bottom you can do bearing caps well the the crankshaft bearings you can remove them you can you can uh, replace bearings from underneath there's a procedure for that but you cannot remove piston from the from the bottom first because your crankshaft is on the way to remove the crankshaft you will have to remove the other side or the front so there's no option if people think they can do rebuild from the bottom or without removing the engine from the engine bay it's not possible well, it's not possible in this engine. So, 
not good. I'm not going to rotate the engine, so bear with me. Okay, so we have our engine block rotated. The piston is facing up. The cap on the conrod is off, so we can push. I'll try to push out. Slowly coming out. Usually, you shouldn't be doing this that way. Uh, you should hold your hand so the piston won't fall on the floor and get damaged or something. However, this 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 engine is just piece of uh, you know what. But I still think this engine was not burning oil like uh, N54 do. So the piston is off. Now N54 piston and and M52 TU piston is looking almost exactly the same but that that crown that top is slightly thicker than uh, M54s so that's I think that's the main uh, difference connecting rods according to real OEM are the same so the shape all the same. So now I'm gonna show you. Oh that was the other part of the bearing. It's see layers. This is where the layer is going. There's more materi material here rather than here. Okay, no problem. So now I'm gonna show you how to remove pi uh, piston rings without any special tool. There's a tool for it, design. Uh, if someone don't feel it can do it. The, the tool is not probably expensive. You can do it just simply using your your hands. Just need to grab two edges. Can do it with glasses, gloves. That's it. One. Don't spread too too much because the piston ring gonna break. It's very hard material. Also, piston rings on uh, M54 have a different design, especially the oil scrapers. The oil scraper on this one is made of three pieces, two small rings and uh, spring M54 have two pieces this is three pieces M54 have two pieces the rings are like one part and spring is a second part so okay we're not gonna care about that there's some uh, some build up but I'm not gonna bother about this now what I'm gonna do I just place the oil scraper inside the bore number two when I was doing my engine rebuild I did the same thing and judging by eye I saw the gap 
the gap on the piston ring was just huge so I'm gonna show you now the gap on this one it's not big as mine was mine was 2.4 millimeters I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a filler gauge to check that I think that's That's around one mil. Oil scrapers around one mil. So mine was two point five times more. If that car was burning oil, it was burning a little amount. That's still off spec, however oil scrapers they they uh, they usually have a bigger gaps and also when the engine is warming up and it's fully hot they expand so the gap is slow uh, smaller so now compression ring which is nothing there's no gap almost at all the gap is like uh, my M54 after new installing a uh, new rings. 0 0.2 millimeter. I'm gonna check 1.7. 1.7 is too not enough. I'm not gonna be very precise about that because I'm just gonna give you. Okay. Uh, it's actually zero point two. Sorry, uh, zero point two three. So twenty three hundredths of a mil. So your your new uh, piston ring is gonna be around zero point two zero. So there's no actually there's no wear on the. Uh, on the cylinders, on these piston rings, whatever. So, guys, that's a proof. For me, that's a proof. I'm gonna show you closer the balls. That's a proof for me that M54 are just uh, terrible engines. If they could make a block with the same spec as you can see aluminum uh, block with, uh, with with liners with iron cast liners so if they can do the same block with made of same exact same parts almost the same pistons same crankshaft different rings Why the the other ones are worn, and with the engine is actually the same, has the same mileage. No, uh, no, actually, maintenance history, nothing. Even have a blown head gasket. Why this engine doesn't burn oil? Why M54 burn, burns oil? Well, I know the piston rings are worn, but why why they wearing so quick? why if you know the answer please let me know and also 
people think oh m54 have low te tension rings i think the only three liter version of m54 have low tension rings to match the same uh, amount of uh, emissions because in uk 3 liter version and 2.5 uh, 2 version they have the same amount of uh, emissions so that's why they done it but all three models 2.2 2.5 3 liter they all burn oil my investigation showed that the rings are made of different materials so they can hold high temperatures and high pressures and they wearing quick so if you if you um, driving your car slowly not pushing hard you probably find if you if you like harder driving you like a uh, red lining like me you have a problem you might have a problem why they done it I'm gonna give you some thoughts in future videos my thoughts so hope you stay on my channel and watch more thank you for watching um, next video probably something to do with the cylinder head which I haven't done there's still more to do about uh, Venus rebuild how to do um, timing uh, timing uh, uh, adjustment timing alignment so there's still plenty of videos to come so i hope you enjoyed thanks for watching